In this video, we will look at the greedy method. The greedy method is another strategy just like divide and conquer approach to solve different kind of problems known as optimization problems. A problem in which some function called an optimization or objective function is to be minimized or maximized subject to some constraints is known as an optimization problem. Let us look at an example. Let us consider a problem P. Suppose this problem P is a payment options for buying product online. Now, there may be several solutions for making payments. For example, the options are cash on delivery, using debit card or using credit card, using PayPal or online bank transfer or making payments by check. So these are all the solutions available for making a payment. Now, most of the problems which uses greedy method has to satisfy some constraints. For example, in this problem, let us consider that the seller does not accept checks nor cash on delivery. Therefore, we cannot make payments through these options because of the constraints. So the solution of cash on delivery and checks are eliminated. Now the remaining solutions which are using debit or credit cards and making payments through PayPal or online bank transfer satisfies the constraints. So these are feasible solutions for the problem. A feasible solution is a solution that satisfies the constraints. Now comes the optimization step of greedy method. An optimal solution is a feasible solution that optimizes the objective or the optimization function. Let us consider the buyer has to pay 1.5% fee for the debit card and credit card transactions. And for online bank transfer, the buyer has to pay 2% fees. And whereas PayPal transactions are free. Obviously, in this scenario, the objective or optimization is no one wants to spend additional money on transaction fees. So selecting PayPal as the solution for making payment is the optimal solution. Therefore, in greedy approach, we need to find a feasible solution that either minimizes or maximizes the objective function. And this feasible solution is known as an optimal solution. So there can be many solutions for a problem. And among those solutions, the solutions that satisfy the constraints are the feasible solutions. And among the feasible solutions, the solution that minimizes or maximizes the objective function is known as an optimal solution. Now, a few important points with respect to the greedy approach. Greedy algorithms are used to determine a feasible solution that may or may not be optimal. The ultimate goal is to find a feasible solution that minimizes or maximizes an objective function. This solution will be an optimal solution. The greedy algorithm works in stages by making a sequence of decisions that seems most appropriate at the moment. The decisions are made one by one in some order. Decision made once is not changed later. At every stage, the greedy algorithm examines an input to see whether it leads to an optimal solution. Now, some of the different optimization problems that can be solved using the greedy approach are knapsack problem, job sequencing with deadline problem, Minimum cost panning trees problem, which includes RIMS and Krushkal algorithm, optimal storage on tapes, optimal merge patterns, and single source shortest path, that is the Dijkstra's algorithm.